That's that's the sound. That's it. That's it. It's exactly. Are you sure? It. Yes. Well, then he was using a PA system. I don't know why. Maybe he was trying to scare you. <sighs> I felt like it was happening all over again. Are you all right? I felt better. Listen, I wasn't trying to scare you. No, it's okay. Chris Kirk is coming home today. I think you should even be in the same house with Kirk now. I mean, if he really did try to kill you before, the fact that he's convalescing isn't going to make him any less dangerous. Well, I think his main concern is getting better, not trying to harm me right now. Well, maybe. But don't you think you'd come up with some kind of excuse and move out for a little while, no, live somewhere else? No, suspicious. You, you said yourself that you, you don't want him to know that we're on to him. I don't like it. Well, look, I have Daddy. I, I have my family. I'll spend as little time alone with Kirk as I have to without making him suspicious of me. You said yourself we just don't have enough on him. You know, it would help if we could determine that one of your father's rifles fired the bullet. It was a 30 odd six. I don't know anything about guns, so I don't know if Daddy has anything like that. If memory serves, he has several of those. Now, I, I, I need to see every gun in the house, and then any 30 odds I could take them out and test fire. Couldn't that be a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many. The question is how to get any gun out of the house without arousing suspicion. Look, darling, I'm going to be worried sick every minute you're anywhere near the gun from now on. Well, I'll call you periodically and let you know I'm okay. That'd be a minimum. I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'm going to hold you to that, okay? You can't let him know we've been seeing each other. If he suspects that something's going on between us, it could push him right back over the edge. Nothing is going on. I just mean I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Right. It's now being played by Robert Newman. What in the world is going on? We're here waiting for Kirk and you're moving furniture around? I'm having your ceiling painted. You know where the rain caused that leak? I don't have to have my ceiling painted. I did it. Got tired of looking at it. Oh, well, good for you. Thank you. Make sure these guns will get out of the way, okay? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Oh, must be here. Let me get it. And there you are. Yes. Welcome back. It's good to have you home. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I do wish I could have walked in on my own, though. I know, I know. But the doctors, they're telling me to take it easy. Well, you pay attention to them. You gotta listen to them, take orders. <laughs> David was arrested? Yes, that's true. Well, I thought he was out on bail now. Eden, would you, uh, would you ask Cruz to stop by and talk to me about it, please? Cruz, why? I would like to know. I owe my life to Madeline's death. I have a particular interest in her case. I want to know what's going on with it. Well, I'm not sure I can get a hold of Cruz right now, Kirk. He seems pretty busy. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you can. Well, hi. Hi, Healy. I got a call from Eden. Apparently, Kirk wants to see me. She didn't say anything to me, but I'll go upstairs and find her, okay? Thanks. You understand Kirk's back? Yeah. I'm glad to have him back. Now Eden can settle down into my life, get a good solid routine going, maybe even have a baby. Yeah, well, I know she uh, wants one. Well, there's no reason she can't. Oh, by the way, if you uh, talk to Kirk, remember his condition. Don't be too graphic about everything with Madeline. What is it you don't want me to tell him? Well, he's interested in the progress you're making, and uh, I don't think it would do him much good to know too many details. All right. And if I haven't told you, you've done a fine job in this case. Now that Mason is involved in the prosecution, if, in fact, David did do it, Mason will have a swift case for himself. He's a fine prosecutor. Yes, he is. One of the best. Yeah, he is. Well, I gotta get going. Good seeing you again. How's Santana? She's fine, thanks. Give her my best. I will. Let's have dinner together sometime.
I'm glad you're still here. Yeah, but I'm wondering why I am. Like, what's the real reason? I think it's really what I said. Kirk is interested in the investigation into Madeline's death. You believe that? Why else would he want you here? Well, it crossed my mind that he might just want to get you and me in a room together and see how we behave with each other. Well, maybe, but I really don't think he's very suspicious anymore. He seems very up and optimistic since they brought him home. Well, forgive me if I don't really trust the way Kirk seems, Eden. I know. Well, he seems fine now. Oh, did you, did you see those? Yeah, I did. I, what are they doing out there? I thought we were going to try to oh, be served. Would you like to go out and see Kirk now? Sure, sure. Okay. Is that certain that it was David that killed her? Oh, I'm not 100% certain of anything, Kirk, unless I've seen it with my own eyes. But the evidence against him is pretty overwhelming. I'm glad that you found whoever it was, but uh, I'm very disappointed that it was David. Disappointed? Why? I feel that I owe him a debt of gratitude. After all, he was the one that signed the papers that allowed me to get Madeline's heart. Otherwise, I'd be dead right now. Oh, well, I understand that. So in a sense, he not only took a life, he gave a life. I guess that won't count in his favor at all, will it? I doubt it. I don't think he killed you just to give you a new heart. No. Of course not. That would be laughable. Still, to think a man would be so jealous of his wife that he would kill somebody for it. I think it happens more often than we know. Anyway, I'm going to have to be cutting off, uh, out of here. I, uh, I'm glad to see that you're home and feeling better. Yeah, thank you. I'm feeling great. I intend to be up and about in no time at all. Well, if that's the case. Oh, uh, I wanted to ask you one more thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to say thank you for taking such good care of my wife while I was sick. I'm sure it put a great strain on your own marriage. I'm not sure uh, what you mean, Kirk. I really haven't been... Taking care of Eden? Well, I was thinking about your trip to Stanford. I know it was on business, but uh, still, I'm glad you cared enough about her welfare to go. What are friends for? Anyway, I really do have to be running along. Boy, you know, I was just thinking, Eden, sometime we should all get together, all the four of us. I mean, we, we do seem to have so much in common, don't we? I guess that's possible sometime. Yes, well, thanks again for coming. And please give my regards to your wife. You bet. Eden, don't you want to show him out? Oh, that's okay, Kirk. I think I know my way around the place by now. I'm sure you do know your way around the place. But still, Eden. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. They're missing. I'm going to tell him that we put him down in the basement until the painters got done with the study. He won't check, don't worry. By the way, your idea to have the ceiling painted was a great one. Oh, thank you. I thought it was pretty good myself. So what are you going to do with these? Well, I'm going to take them down to the lab, have each one of them fired, and then see if any of the uh, markings on the bullets match. If they do, we'll be that much closer to Kirk. Listen, Cruz, what do you think that Kirk was doing earlier? Do you think he was playing some kind of game with us? Well, I'm not sure, but he obviously feels a lot better than we assumed. Do you think he was testing us? Yeah, and we passed. But I want you to be very careful from here on in, and I mean it. Well, I'm not going to provoke him if that's what you're thinking about. That's exactly what I'm thinking about. I think you and I would be better uh, watch ourselves around here, too. If we, need, if we need to meet, we should do it someplace outside the house. All right, well, we'll, we'll think of a place. We should just get going now. Besides, I'm anxious to find out about these rifle tests. No, this shouldn't take long. Let's get them in the car. Okay. Mine's in the trunk of my car, so uh, I guess I'm going to be cutting out. All right. Listen, I want you to try to stay away from Kirk as much as you possibly can. Be very careful. I will. And call me at the first sign of any trouble. I will, but I don't, I don't think there will be any. Now, don't underestimate the guy, Eden. He's clever. Don't let this illness fool you into thinking he's not. Okay. I think we're cleverer, don't you think? We better be. Well, I'll, uh... I'll try to have him back uh, by evening. Hello. Cruz, 
Bruce, I've got to talk to you. I think I finally stumbled onto something. It's about the gun. Uh, Eden, uh, I'm still waiting on the ballistics report. Yeah, but that's just it. I think he was smart enough not to use a capital gun, and I think I might have a lead on where he might have gotten one. Okay, what's, what's the date on that receipt? Well, that was only, uh, a week before the attempt was made. Don't worry, all right? Uh, I'll get right on this. And what do you say we meet at the, uh, the boathouse in about an hour, okay? Okay, fine. I'll be there. Good. <sighs> Courtney, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to take off. Something just came up with another case I'm working on. Uh, tell Dr. Reynolds that, uh, well, I'm sorry and, uh, we'll have to continue this some other time, okay? Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Hey. How long have you been here? I just got here. What'd you find out? Well, I talked to a cop I know who's a board member at the gun club. He remembered Kirk from the pictures I showed him, and he checked his records. Turns out Kirk took two lessons in the use of a sighted hunting rifle. He uh, used one of the training guns to keep on hand at the club there. He took lessons? Well, that means... That doesn't prove anything. What about the ballistic reports? Well, the, they were awash. Uh, none of the uh, capital firearms was used to fire the bullet we found here. Mm. But we came up with something rather interesting. Every one of your family's guns had Kirk's fingerprints all over it. It was like he'd handled them all, like he tried them out. It looks like it's pointing to him more and more. It almost makes me frightened to go back to the house. Then why don't you rent a hotel where I can put up a guard, or better yet, invent a reason to get out of town for a little while? Well, let's be honest. Wouldn't that tip him off? If he, if he knows we're on to him, then, then we'll never catch him. I just don't like the idea of you being there. He's bringing him inside of this at night to help him sleep, and there's always someone there during the day. I still don't like it. Look, if he intends to do anything, which I don't think he will, it's going to be on further down the line anyway. Besides, for some reason, I think that he's kind of different. Oh, no, listen. Listen to me. Don't start trusting the guy. Not for a second. Have a hug. When's this going to be over? I don't know. But we're on the right track. We're going to put him behind bars where he belongs. And I swear to you, Eden, it's going to be soon. I should make it easier for you. Thank you. Should be tired. Well, you'll sleep tonight. <sighs> Can't wait to get out of this bed. Walk. Back to work. So many things I want to do. I think he'll be out all night. 
Thank you. I'll be downstairs. 